Deanna here from Futures Pass Boutique, and today I was hoping you can help me solve a mystery. I don't know what kind of box this is. The shape is very odd. I've never seen a box that's shaped this way. And um, it sort of slopes down the front and then slopes down going in the back direction. And um, I don't know if it's antique. I don't know if it's vintage. I don't know, um, you know, like what it's called, what kind of uh, box this is. It appears to be um, tollware, maybe, or decoupage. It's made out of some kind of wood, like a lacquer wood. It, Although you can't tell, really, from the uh, video, it's like an olive, a dark olive uh, green color that looks almost black. And uh, let me show you some detail. It has uh, golden feet. And the design is uh, very, like, almost French Empire, Rococo style. So I don't know if this is an imposter, if it's supposed to look antique, or if it's actually antique, or maybe it's from the 20s or 30s, or maybe newer. Um, here's a close-up of the hardware. Sometimes that helps to uh, date things. Um, and again, has like golden uh, scrolled feet. And um, the closest I can get to this type of shape um, on the internet, on the Google search, was a coal... A coal uh, shuttle, scuttle, um, but who the heck would put coal in this box um, because it has fancy uh, satin lining in it and coal is very messy as we know. So I mean I don't think it's a jewelry box, it's way too deep, it goes way down in there and nobody would put coal in a satin lined box. I don't know, is it a collar box, but then again. It would have the little middle ring in the, you know, down the center. Um, I don't think it's a jewelry box. Maybe it's a tea box, but then who would put tea inside something that has satin because that would get stained. Um, you can see it has like little dovetailing. So I'm guessing it's wood, but with a heavy lacquer. Let me try to show you the detail of like, it has like little dovetails. Um, That doesn't look to be hand painted, but then it doesn't look like pasted um, lithographs. Unless maybe it is lithographs that they lacquered. So let me uh, turn the box so you can see it sideways. Excuse all the minerals in the background. I collect minerals um, and crystals, so they're all over the place. But you can see it's like a very odd shape. Maybe you can see like the green color a little better. Um, let me turn it to the back and you can see it again it has like that French Empire type of design it has like a little cherub with a globe Fancy scroll work and flowers. And again, that shape is just completely and utterly odd. It does have some kind of a signature on it um, that's in script and then paint. Let me try to find it. Where did I see it? Oh, brother, bear with me. Okay, I think it's here. Yeah, it's here. W. B. Lerman. I'm trying to see if it has anything else. So it's a painted signature of some sort. And let me show you the bottom. And you can see that um, olive color I was talking about. It has a close-up of the hardware. Sometimes screws are very telling. You can tell um, how old something is sometimes by, you know, the uh, screws or the nails.
and his one of the feet. And try to get a close up of Yeah, so um, if anyone can help me solve this mystery, I, I'd like to know if it's antique or if it's a uh, vintage or a reproduction or some kind of, you know, like what, what its function was, about how old it is, anything. Anything, if you know anything about it, um, please uh, write in the comments below because I'm very curious. Um, I'd really love to know what the heck this thing is. I think it's beautiful. It's, it's very, very pretty. It really, really, really is unique. And um, I'm hoping it's antique. I really am. So thanks a lot. Thanks for watching my video. And uh, have a great day.